Thank you, Mr. President, members. I was not planning on speaking on the close of this bill. But after sitting here, Mr. President, members, and listening to some of the closings, I felt obligated to stand up and correct some of the wrong. Senator Betancourt, when the Declaration of Independence was written, African Americans were considered property, not men, just for the record. You know, tonight, many members quoted MLK, I have a dream speech, Mr. President, as if that was the only speech that Dr. King ever wrote. He wrote hundreds of speeches. To name a few, Three Evils of Society, The Other America, and Why America May Go to Hell, were just a few of his speeches. But he also wrote one from the Birmingham jail. And I'm quoting him as I say, often the oppressor goes along unaware of the evils involved in his oppression. So long as the oppressed accepts it. Members, I will not accept it. There is no logic in the belief that you can increase diversity by removing policies and offices that work to promote diversity. And that is why I will, be not, I will not be supporting SB 17. There is no way that you can remove policies that have helped move the needle and accept or expect for you to increase diversity. I asked some of my colleagues, including the author of this bill, this evening, all I ask and when you write policy, think about how it may affect those who is, the policy was written for. Get their input first. Let's be on the front side instead of the back side. And as you quote some of our great leaders of this country, Please make sure you're quoting them properly. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, members.